everybody, it's Melissa and Stephanie and today we're bringing you guys the February installment of Q&A Tuesday. However, it is not Tuesday. We did have a few minor technical difficulties filming this video and this is actually our third and final attempt. We asked you guys on Twitter to send in your questions with the hashtag AskSmunk and we got a really good variety of questions. So we have 10 total. Let's get on in to the answers. So the first question is, if you could change your YouTube journey in any way, what would you change? I think the one thing I would change is probably the name. I know that when we started this YouTube channel, we didn't really put a lot of thought into it, or at least I know I didn't. I was like, okay, you come up with a name and we'll go with it. Well, we're just throwing around ideas and then fashion, citizen, and now, I don't know if it really fits. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we would have the opportunity to change the name, but really... I don't know what I don't know. we would change it to. Yeah, so I think for now... I don't dislike the name, but I don't know if it's what I would have chosen if I really wanted to put something, like, really good together that or, I thought would last over yeah, time. Yeah, or that would last over time. Like, I thought, we'll do this for a month and then it will kind of fade out, but it's lasted for, like, four years, so... Yeah. So this next question comes from Sunny. What are the essentials you must carry in your purse or purses? So I carry a backpack, you guys know that, but I carry a wallet, I carry my phone, I carry a charging cable for either my phone or the vlog camera because one or the other is always dying. And then one thing that you'll find in my bag, which for me is an essential, I don't think for everybody, is sweet and low. Yeah. I have tons of Sweet and Low. Everywhere I go, I will take four packs of Sweet and Low because I always think I'm going to run out. I have yet to run out because I take four packs from every restaurant or whatever I go to. I think you got that from me because you never used to no, do that No, I didn't. And it's the so funny strange. thing is I don't do that anymore. No. I don't take sugar anymore because mm -hmm. I don't need it. So besides the essentials, phone, wallet, I always carry my chapstick. I always need chapstick. Um, an extra inhaler, and then I always carry earphones. I usually have like one or two pairs of them, mm -hmm. and I always carry them, and people know that, so then if they need earphones, they will ask me yeah. to use mine. Or I'll just steal them. Yeah, or she'll just steal them. So we are actually talking about this question a few days ago. If you were in a band, what instrument would you play? As much as I would love to be the lead guitar, because I know that in any song, usually the guitar solo is my favorite, and I would love to do that, I would probably want to be the drummer, just because I think it takes a lot of skill. Playing any instrument takes a lot of skill, but I just think the idea of being a drummer is really cool, and I think I would have really nice arms. I could see that. I would probably say the bass player. I don't know. I've always been attracted to the bass and the sound that it makes or like the bass guitar. Um, or I would want to do like the keyboard synth type of thing if I knew how to do that. I don't know how to do either of those so I probably won't be in a band anytime soon. <laughs> so the next question is do you think yours or anyone's style ever stops changing? So for me personally, I don't think my style will ever stop evolving or changing. I don't think when I'm 50, I'm going to be wearing the same things that I'm wearing now. Who knows? Maybe I will be. But I think as we mature, as we grow up, as we settle into our own personal styles, we'll get a sense of personal style. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that it ever stops evolving because there's trends, there's, you know, different fashion things, whatnot. I, I will say, like, Mark Zuckerberg, his, like, style... Yeah has kind of stopped evolving. He wears the same things, but if I was That's a billionaire, <laughs> I would probably wear the same thing every single day. Yeah. But for me, I don't think my style will ever stop changing. I don't think mine will either. I think I will keep wearing a lot of the same mm -hmm. things, but they change just slightly over time. Okay, the next question is, at what age did you start picking out your own outfits? I think around the first grade or kindergarten was when our parents decided to let us dress ourselves, but also let us pick out what we wanted to buy for a really long time. I don't know if this is a twin thing, if you guys are twins or just have siblings that are close in age, or if your parents decided to dress you guys the same, let us know in the comments down below because I know our parents really played that up. But yeah, I was always in purple. And I was always in pink, or we would just have the same matching set yeah. for like a, until we are like first grade. 
So the next question is, how often do you purge your closet and get rid of items? Do you do this before adding more to your wardrobe? So I don't go through my closet as much as I would like. I usually do two big cleans a year, the summer, or like during the summer and during the winter. But other than that, I really don't. I have a lot of pieces that have memories tied to them, and so I can't get rid of them. But a lot of kind of like the fast fashion pieces I've, I've gotten rid of throughout the years because they're cheap and I don't really, I don't really think they're, there are the qualities there, but some of those really nice pieces I like to keep because I think in my mind one day I will wear them. I think I hold on to things that I know I paid a lot of money for, even yeah. though I know I'm never going to wear them. I wish I could just get rid of them, but for some reason I haven't overcome that obstacle. I probably clean my closet two times a year, but I'm always purchasing new things. But I think that I've tried to stay away from purchasing large quantities and purchasing things that I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of and wear over time. All right, the next question is, have either of you felt like you were in a fashion rut or just felt like you were wearing certain items all the time? I feel like I definitely wear a lot of the same items over and over again. Recently, it's been one specific pair of cropped jeans, but I don't know if that's necessarily a fashion rut because I can wear that item with a lot of other items in my mm -hmm. wardrobe, but I do feel like I've been in a rut where I just only want to wear the same thing over and over again. Yeah, for sure. I think that after the passing of our mom, I really got into a fashion rut, whereas before I was more expressive or experimental. Uh, after getting out of that and kind of finding my own personal style, I wear a lot of the same pieces too. I love jeans, so I'm constantly wearing jeans. But just like you, I can wear them with different things and they can be casual or I can dress them up. So there might be times when I've been in fashion ruts, but I can usually overcome that. So Next question, favorite secret hangout or cool go-to place in AZ? Can answer this one? I think one of my favorite places, I'm, it's not really a secret, is a restaurant called AZ88. I've mentioned it in a Q&A before, I've mentioned it several times in vlogs, but the cool thing about it is it's kind of hidden. If you don't know where it is, you might have a hard time finding it. They have really great food. The dipping fries are my favorite. It's a nice atmosphere. There's always really good music and they change out the art installation. I don't know how frequently they do, but every time I go, there's always different art there. And it's just a really nice place to go with all of your friends or even if it's just us too. Yeah. We always have a good time there. I've never had a bad time at AZ88 yeah, for sure. Uh, I would say, I think maybe some of you from Arizona probably already know about this place, but Valley Bar, I've been there numerous times, and I'm not a drinker, but I still have a good time while I'm there. The atmosphere is always really lively. I have a great time with whoever I'm with. So if you haven't been there, I would definitely suggest Valley Bar. I think it's really good people watching, Yeah, too. for sure, because there's people from all walks of life. We've met people that were in the Hells Angels there. We've met other people there. We've seen other people there. It's so, just a really cool place. Yeah, it's just really cool. The next question is, what qualities do you admire in each other? I admire so many qualities in punk. There's, there's too many to list in this video because it would go on forever, but one thing is that she tends to be more of a people pleaser, and I think the really good qualities that come out of that is that she cares a lot about others. She's willing to put somebody before herself. Um, she's very open-minded and she's taught me a lot and I've learned so much from her. She's very funny. She makes me laugh all the time. It's always the little thing that just gets me I, and I can never let it go. I have to yeah. keep teasing her about she it for uh, a while. Um, yeah, she's patient with me because I'm not always the easiest person, honestly. Me too. Yeah. There's just so many good qualities. She's very loving, I think. At least to I me. mean, I don't see that. <laughs> see that. Uh, qualities that I admire in smell. She's very straightforward, which is one quality that I don't have. She's very assertive. She lets you know how she's feeling or what she does and doesn't like, and I'm never one to, I avoid confrontation at all costs, but for Melissa, it's really easy for her to speak her mind, and for me, it's not. I'm always 
I'd, I'd rather not have a confrontation. So that's something I'm learning from her. At times, I feel like sometimes she's really hot-headed and she, and, and that's sometimes a good thing. Like she always stands her ground, which for me, I'd rather just be like, oh, okay, whatever, because I am a people pleaser. Uh, she's also, she, I mean, she's my older sister. I look up to her and, and I use older in the sense that she's two minutes older than me, but our parents always played that up. And so now that, our mother's passed away, our dad no longer lives with us. I really look for her or look to her for guidance and I always have and I don't think so I don't always say it enough, but I also something that she has she started to do is she always asks how I'm feeling and especially somebody that struggles with mental health, I like to be reminded to kind of think about how I'm feeling. Because sometimes I'm just like, Oh, I wake up and I don't feel the best, but when Melissa has to ask, how are you feeling? It makes me think, how am I really feeling today? You know, some days aren't the best, some days are great, but it's just a reminder that she's there and that she cares. And just like Melissa says about me, I think she's a very caring person. She has love for everybody, especially those people in her life that she holds close to her, which I think for a while it was hard for both of us to open up to people. But Melissa, like when, you know, she loves you, like she's going to let you know. Yeah. You're my ride or die. Yeah, we're each other's ride or die. We're all we have, so. So the last question is Yeezy Season 3 or Fenty Puma? So I don't... I, both of the, the collections for me, I would never wear. Or, I mean, there's maybe a few pieces from the Yeezy Season 3 outerwear that I may wear. I will never be able to afford it. I won't get my hands on it, but they're not really my personal style per yeah. se. I would say Yeezy season three because I really like Kanye West and I know there are some haters out there. It's really hard to be a Kanye fan. True. I would say Yeezy season three only because we also saw it in theaters, mm -hmm. True. which sounds really weird. Um, but I think as an artist, especially with how much imagery we are flooded with on a day to day basis, for somebody to create an image that is so vivid in my memory, anytime I hear ultralight beam, I can just vividly recall when they pulled the tarp off and that always replays my mind and that's really hard for an artist to create that kind of image that is forever embedded. So that's true. I have to say, Kanye, I have to say easy season three. So that wraps up this month's edition of Q&A Tuesday. Make sure to follow us on Twitter to see when we tweet out, but you can always tweet us your questions. Just use the hashtag AskSmunk. Also, I think next month we're going to try and incorporate some questions from Instagram because I know a few of you have mentioned that you don't have Twitter or you don't check it often enough. So if one of you would kindly remind us next month in the month of March to do that, that would be awesome. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, you can hit that button down below. Thank you guys all for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.